What is the Hardy-Weinberg principle? In a large random mating population, gene and genotype frequencies remain constant in the absence of migration, mutation, and selection. B plus Q equal 1. B is the dominant, and we always use a capital letter, like a capital A for example. Q is the recessive, and we always use a small letter, like a small A for example. If we square the both sides of the equation of B plus Q equal 1, this will give us, due to the mathematical principles, B square plus 2PQ plus Q square equal 1. And this is called the binomial equation. B square is equal to homozygous dominant. And we refer it by double capital letters. For example, double capital A. Q square is the homozygous recessive. And we refer it by double small letter. For example, double small a. 2PQ is the heterozygous. One capital letter and one small letter. The second example is attached ear loops. Whether ear loops are attached or free is controlled by an autosomal allele, is referred as U. Individuals with attached ear loops are homozygous recessive for the condition, and we refer them as double small U. What the percentage of the individuals are recessive homozygous? From your knowledge of the Hardy Weinberg equation, B square plus 2PQ plus Q square equal 1. Calculate the frequency of the alleles of capital U and the small u and the percentage of the dominant homozygous and heterozygous. Note that we have in this question 64 attached air loops, however we have 193 unattached air loops. As I told you in the previous questions, always remember to use these equations B plus Q equal 1 and the binomial equation. We know that the number of the attached air loops is equal to 64 and the unattached air loops is 193. Always look for the recessive first and the recessive in this example is attached air loops. Now calculate the total of the attached air loops and the non-attached air loops which is equal to 64 plus 193 which will give you 257. To get the homozygous recessive, you should divide the number of the attached air loops over the total number. This is the Q square, and it is equal to 64 divided over 257, and this will give you 0 0.249. To get the B, we need to square root the Q square first, and this will give you 0 0.499. And as we know that B plus Q equal 1, so P equal 1 minus Q. This is equal to 0 0.501. To get the homozygous dominant, we need to square the P. P square will equal to 0 0.251. And to get the percentage, you should multiply it by 100. And it will give you 25.1%. And to get the heterozygous, we multiply 2PQ, which is equal to 2 multiply by 0 0.501 multiply by 0 0.499 and this is will give you 0 0.5 and if you multiply it by 100 it will give you 50 percent and homozygous recessive is given already and it is equal to 0 0.249 and if you multiply it by 100 it will give you 24.9 percent to check that your calculation is right you should use the binomial equation and it should give you 1 if you did not use the percentages. But if you use the percentages, it should give you 100%. For example, the total will equal to 25.1 plus 50 plus 24.9. It will give you 100%. That means your work is perfect. Well done.